The pit was rocking. Cowboy Nation showing out for the opener, ready for a new season of Salinas football. And to start, it's all defense. Pretty evenly matched game. Both teams exchanging blows. The defense making stop after stop. How about an interception here? The ball is up. And it's picked, hauled in by Luke Burrell to stop the ugly Eagles in their tracks. Even after the sun sets, the defense continues to light it up, although Clayton Valley does score off a field goal here in the third. That makes it 3 nothing. The Cowboys looking to get on the board themselves. They go to their upperclassman, Noah Gonzalez here. He hits David Marquez with the pitch, and it's off to the races. Marquez cutting back up the middle, putting the pedal to the metal. He breaks loose, bringing it all the way down to the 30 for a massive, massive gain. The Cowboys, though, unable to find the end zone on that drive, but Marquez, he wasn't the only Cowboy showing off some speed. How about Noah Gonzalez? Look at the wheels on him. A couple of keepers as he looks to put Salinas on the board. Here he comes up and around the bend, just shy of the end zone there, only by about two yards. The Ugly Eagles capitalize, going on to score two more times. They end up winning it 17-0. But taking a look at the rest of our high school scores, Monterey and Hollister, both both in that win column, the Doors winning 35 nothing, the Baylors winning 44-7. Oakdale, though, they get the best of Aptos, the Mariners falling 21-14. Next up, Harbor, Greenfield, and Pacific Grove also opening the season with a W. There are your finals. The Pirates shut out the cards, the Bruins taking down the Mustangs, and the Breakers topping the Mariners. Finally tonight, North Salinas grabbing a dominant 47-15 win. While it was a tough night for San Lorenzo and Pajaro, both teams dropping their opener, but they're looking to bounce back next week.